Turn around. Turn around. Mommy, look at me. Wow. Spin again. Spin. Pretty hair. Wow. Wow. Hello, everyone. This is a video on how I detangle my daughter's hair. She has a lot of hair and it's really long. And I just wanted to show basically my detangling process. So here I'm just, she just has the luxury of being in the salon. How lucky is she? Um, <laughs> so right now I'm just wetting down her hair a whole lot. And I slapped a lot of conditioner in her hair. I never dry, I never dry comb her hair. And then I take pretty small sections. I'll say small to medium sections and I begin to separate the hair because it is really tangled. I have a tendency to put her hair in a lot of buns and I don't comb her hair through the week so it does get tangled I can't lie um, but I separate them with my fingers at first before I start combing just to get through to make things easier and then I start combing from the bottom and I begin to work my way up and you want to really slip slip slippy slippery conditioner to allow the comb or brush to glide through the hair rather than creating friction that'll rip through the hair this also allows it to be a pretty painless process as well so this is actually my favorite brush to use instead of the other brush that I was using. This is the paddle brush. It allows me to get through our hair faster and I like the fact that the bristles are pretty um, flexible. It's like flexible and hard at the same time and it gets the job done quicker. So as you can see the comb is, the brush is really gliding through the hair. And like I said, I love starting at the bottom and working my way up to the top. It begins to glide fully through and I continue to comb the ends. And this is really, really slippery conditioner that I really love. And with each section after that, I just twist it into big two strand twists because it allows the hair to not shrink up again and become tangled again so this is my process of detangling her hair i just repeat it all over her head i just finger comb separate with my fingers at first then i use the brush to comb out the ends make sure i have a lot of conditioner in her hair work my way up the, sh the hair shaft and then I twist now if you come across more um, pieces of hair that's like let's say you have it's like a big chunk and you're kind of having a hard time getting through the hair because it's like tangles on the inside just separate it a little more so just um, cut it in half so that you can um, easily get through it don't think that you have to keep on working through that same section if it's too much resist resistance just break the section in half and work with a smaller section So now here we are rinsing out the conditioner, getting ready for it to get washed. Everything is fully detangled and twisted up. Wash your hair. Yes, wash your hair. Does Zari wash your hair? Absolutely, mommy. So now I'm taking some shampoo and I'm just washing her hair with the twist 
in it. I don't separate the twist. This allows the least amount of um, tangles during the washing process. It's better to wash it twisted up or braided up so that you don't have to constantly worry about detangling it 12, 15, 30 times during the process. So the type of shampoo I like to start off with is a clarifying shampoo for the most part. Um, I usually use Dr. Bronner's clarifying shampoo. Um, it's the peppermint one. And it just gets rid of all the gook and keeps her scalp nice and clean. Like I said, I use gel in her hair so I just really like to get it nice and clean. So I do that about twice. And then from there I like to use like a head and shoulder shampoo. I know this is not like a kid's shampoo, but I like the way that it has a little bit of a moisturizing property to it and it also keeps the scalp nice and fresh. It gets rid of all the stuff in the scalp and it keeps the scalp nice and clean and balances the pH of the scalp. Done. So I guess I left out the part where I put conditioner in her hair. I like to use a moisturizing conditioner or just something really nice in it that also has slip and I just rinse it out. As you can see here, I'm removing the twist. Um, it's still nice and detangled. And then I'm going to apply a leave-in conditioner. This one smells so, so, so good and it also has slip. I just love things with slip in it because it really allows the hair to glide through. It allows the hair strands to glide through. So now, I am separating so that I can again make some twists and prep our hair for blow dry. Now getting back to the conditioner talk, I, like I said, I just put conditioner in her hair, I rinse it out, I don't fully rinse it out, I leave like, you know, just so it has a little bit of softness in it, but I just really, um, I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like I, you know, do a whole steam treatment on her hair and it's a whole luxurious experience, I really don't. Um, it's just really a simple routine, um, I may let the conditioner sit or I may not. So now I'm just prepping the hair for blow dry, doing the same thing from the sink. I'm just uh, making sure that she has conditioner on each section, leave-in conditioner at that, I'm sorry. And I'm just combing it through with the wet brush, which is a softer detangling brush.
now we are at the top of the hair and I like using the wet brush because it is a softer detangling brush it's, this is after you detangle and if you have to detangle again you don't have to use the same hard brush you could just use the flexible wet brush and it just really really is more gentle on the ends but yeah look at those big old juicy twists this girl has a lot of hair I say she has hair for like three heads seriously those twists are huge and she's just so little I don't it's a task I must say <laughs> it has grown into quite the task so this is again me prepping her hair for blow dry Blow drying, I like to start from the bottom also, the same way I would comb. I use the comb attachment usually because it just is easier, it's quicker. There are different methods to blow drying. Um, this is just one of them. There's also a method where you stretch the hair as well. This right here is the stretch method. So here I just put in some big old Miss Silly braids just so that um, it'll be out of the way and I just wanted to give her a nice stretch twist out I mean braid out and here we are my routine I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time bye 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 everyone